Please give a round of applause for Mr. Johnson. Woo! Preacher Johnson is in the house this beautiful morning. Preacher Johnson. Woo! How's everyone on this fine morning, people? It's a beautiful morning to be here with me, Preacher Johnson, and my preacher charge. So, how's everyone doing? Great, great. Okay. So, you know how Jesus, God, said, Give to the people in need, and you will get something in return. Well, I found this homeless person, right? I found him in the streets. He smelled bad. His mouth, he ripped like horrible, right? So, of course, I'm a preacher. I help people. I told him, here's $50. Go buy yourself some toothpaste, a toothbrush, you know? Come back, and I'll give you a hotel, you know, for one day, two days. Okay, fine. I did it. He came back. I brought him to my brother's show, Miki, and I also gave him a thousand dollars, a thousand dollars, so he can buy clothing um, and whatever else he needed, right? But unfortunately, he got mad. He didn't took the thousand dollars, and he called me fake that I didn't try to help him, which I I did. I'm preacher Johnson, right? I always help the people, but here with me today. The one and only, my brother, Mickey, who has his own show. And he's going to be here to talk about what a shame it was. He didn't take a thousand dollars. Well, please give him a round of applause for my brother, Mickey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so very much. Thank you very much. Uh, so, yeah, what, what, what's going on? Uh, but first of all, before we start talking... Why are you dressed? It's Sunday, and then in my church, everyone wears tuxedos. Even though if I just have a normal shirt underneath, I still wear the suit. You wore now. I live suit. in a free country that I, you know, that America, I, baby. Well, anyways, just I live in a free goddamn country. Oh. I can dress however the fuck I want. Yes, because you're my brother. I'll let it slide, but nah, no one else. Nah, nah. You will ain't gonna slide. even let it slide. You are not just gonna just give no fucks. There you go. I will let it slide for him because he's my brother. But all of you have to wear suits. You're letting suits. it slide because I'm the one that is financially supporting your church. There's or actual whatever. people here today. Yeah, We're I, I in really, my church. Uh, hello, how We're are in the you? House uh, of thanks God. to me, he has what he has. No, I don't. Yes. But anyways, but anyways, we're here because of the homeless guy that went on live to look Yeah, he went live, he went to my show, he's here trying to tell me, for me to, you know, I'm like, okay, so, you know, do you have a goal, do you have a dream, like, you know, something that I can invest in you, and then yes. you can repay me back. Of course. And, and then he's like, yeah, you can invest in my company industries, or whatever the fuck <laughs> that was, and I'm like, okay, fine, tell me what, what, what is it about? Yeah. What are they, you know, what's the product, what's the service, what the hell is it? Tell the people. I'm not going to invest in something that I don't know how much money are they already bringing in money. Is this a brand new thing that, you know, they're just going to put out there? Like, I need to know yes. where my money is going to go to. And if I'm even going to make a slightly certain percent of what I'm investing back. Correct. But let me tell you something. What the, what went through your mind well, you gave him the money, and he said it was fake, but it wasn't fake. It was real. What What was going on in your mind? Tell the people. Don't fucking complain to me. Complain to whomever gave me that money to give you, which was you. But it was but it was real, right? It was real. Exactly. You see? He just got, you know, he got upset because I didn't want to invest in his company. Correct. And or his business that he wants to create, yes. you know, whatever the heck yes. that was. Lucky for you. I made research. I had my people, the servants of God, made some research, and they found the out. Servants of God. Yes, I serve God, and because I serve God, I also have servants, and they serve me, and I serve God. I get to talk to God, and I relay the word of God to them. Mm -hmm. But anyways, Good we did some you. research, right? Mm -hmm. And we found out that Industries was a scam. He tried to scam you. He is not a servant of God. But he is a servant of the devil. He was trying to steal Praise our the money. Lord. Praise the so Lord. So that's why our money. Who gave you the money? Our money. Who gave you the money? You gave me the money that I gave you. So technically, it's my money. You just handed it to me. To give it to a person that I was trying to help, but turns out he's a with servant my, of the with devil. With my own money. So how do you feel that he's a servant of the devil? That is what it is. 
It is what it is, people. You see, this is unbelievable. If you are a servant of God, pray, and all your thoughts will go away, and you will forgive. Because if you forgive, you turn into what? Do you know what? You turn into a nicer person. All right? Do you really? And that's do you what really? I was trying to do. I you can forgive, but you will never forget. That's, that's the truth. They say forgive. And you will be a better person. I'm trying you to be, be a, better a better person to yourself because you're forgiving whomever, whoever hurt you. Yes. You're not going to forget what they did to you. Of course not. Of course not. And that doesn't mean you're going to be a nicer person to others. You're going to be, you yourself going to feel better. Exactly. So there you go, people. This has been our sermon for today. What you said, please repeat it. You will be. You will feel better. You will feel better. You will be a better person in the inside. <laughs> That's what he said. Oh, he's that funny. is the speech of today. So, anyways, do you have anything else to tell the people and the people watching us through live? No. All right. Well, anyways, this has been. The Preacher Johnson's Mess on a Sunday morning. You've been watching Preacher Johnson. Please donate. Don't forget that. Please donate. Because this will be better than me. How, was this, how, how the fuck was this mess if you didn't even spoke the word of God I to did. this people? I did speak what the word. What was the word of God? What was the lesson on today's lecture? Look, look at the people. They're all smiling. They're together. I united them. Has anyone else united people? No. United Health Insurance. <laughs> united Airlines. But not in 2023. There's a lot of wars going on. And I united people. They come here to hear me speech. And that's why I will run for president. Because if I can unite them, I can unite anyone in this world. But they're here because they want to hear I don't me. Think so. I they want to hear. So. I inspire them. When they, they are get... here for me, not for you. They you didn't... speak nonsense, okay? You speak nonsense. Ooh, they did not even know you were here. What is you talking about? They and as soon as I walked in through those double doors, they smiled. They were happy because. Before that, they had some straight ass faces. Because straight I was not faces. on stage. I was getting ready for the show. I mean, to read the Bible and get the word. Okay. But anyways, bye -bye. please donate. And thank you for watching Preacher Johnson on a Sunday.